that made him famous. Sharman's troop was an annual treat for thousands of Australian boxing fans in the cities and the country fairs. The troop uncovered some of the best professional fighters in the country. And when Sharman visited Charters Towers in 1945, a glove was thrown to Hassan. Within three years, he was Ern McQuillan's star, following the retirement of Vic Patrick. Hassan was born Jack Friday in Cloncurry, but never really knew his parents and was raised by the family of another great boxer, George Bracken. Jack Hassan became the hero of black kids everywhere, as Bracken explains. Well, it's a funny man like a little, little, little uh, pet dog, you know, I followed him all around the place and uh, uh, because he was big time in those days, you know, and uh, he was a, well, how would you say, um, Joe Lewis, uh, Rocky Matsana, or uh, Sugar Ray Robson uh, of that day, you know. Hassan had only one dream when he came to Sydney, as he told Ern McQuillan. Jack, what made you take up the fight game? Uh, well, I wanted to get home from my wife and uh, child. And how are you going, like, towards the home, like, for your wife and child? I've been going pretty good so far. Hassan flattened George Capine, then iced Roy Treasure in four in this bout before victories against Tommy Stenhouse and then scored a magnificent victory over the French lightweight Pierre Montenay. McQuillan was now thinking of a world title bout for his dynamite puncher. One reporter said that in Hassan's right hand lurks sudden death. Tragically, those words came true on September 19, 1949 against Archie Kemp a hero of Melbourne and a brilliant scientific boxer. It was a fight for the Australian lightweight title. Kemp was in great shape, as his training partner Jack Rennie recalls. I had actually started in prior to going to Sydney, and uh, he left here full of was very fit. He just couldn't have been fitter. In the 11th round, Hassan hurt Kemp and pleaded with referee Joe Wallace to stop the fight. Wallace told him to box on. Hassan then knocked Kemp to the canvas. Kemp died the next morning, shortly before his frantic wife arrived from Melbourne. When Kemp died, so too did Hassan's fighting spirit. Right. Even today, the memory of that night and Kemp's funeral still haunts him. I could never forget it. I could never forget. I never forget it. Hassan was never the same fighter again. He lost six of his next seven fights, including bouts against Mickey Tollis, Joe, Old Bones Brown, and here against Freddie Dawson. After the death of Archie Kemp, it seemed that Jack never hit his heart again. But to those who remember his glory days, Jack Hassan will always be a champion.